and welcome to another educational video about screen printing by Cat's Bit Productions. Thanks a lot for clicking on my video today. If you like what you see, tips and advice, use them, you like them, you enjoy the videos, please make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel because that gives me motivation to keep producing more of these free screen printing videos right here on YouTube.com. So make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel today. Okay, so today is just a quick tips video, quick tips for screen printing, just a really basic, easy video, which I probably, you know, you've seen this in other videos that I've made in the past, but how or how can you use screen opener to unclog any clogs you might get on press? Basically, there's no wrong way to use this product as long as you're not ingesting it or uh, inhaling it or uh, damaging your screen or damaging something. If, if you use it in a manner that it works for you, that's fine. But, you know, if you read the label of most of the common screen openers that you find in screen printing, especially for Plastisol textile inks, there are two ways, you know, uh, you can apply it, of course. Uh, I think it, it has like one way they say is to basically put a rag shirt down on the press, okay, and then spray a little bit of the screen opener on top, just lightly wherever it's clogged, and then print it out with the ink. And, you know, it's okay, you know, to mix a little bit of this in your ink. I don't, I don't like to get too much of that product in the ink, but it's designed to be able to spray a little bit on there. You can print it out onto the rag shirt and then wipe it and stuff and clean it up and, and it should be good. The other way to use it would be to spray it on a rag, of course, like a paper towel or something. Spray it on the paper towel and then directly wipe the spot that's clogged on both sides of the screen. And that way you can control the amount of this product that's getting into the ink a lot more, which would be practically none because you're wiping it on a rag and then rubbing it into the stained area or the clogged area or whatever it is. And it's, you know, a little bit more controlled. So usually I'll do that. If it's a stubborn screen, maybe that I haven't printed in a while, I might, um, you know, spray it down and try to squeegee it out. But if the ink gets a little too diluted for my liking, I might throw it out because, you know, it's, it's only supposed to be a little bit okay when you do it on the screen and just uh, print it out okay so those are the most common ways to do and to, uh, do it and of course always uh, do testing because sometimes screen opener can be aggressive on the emulsion if you would like more information about screen openers and aerosols then check out my other videos because we just did a video previously about aerosols spray tax screen openers and everything and you can check out that video for a lot more information that's all I have for you today. I hope this video was informational and useful to you. Please check out my offerings at catspitscreenprintsupply.com if you need screen printing equipment or supplies like screen opener. And of course, thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you next time.